Hi everyone, my name is Avaji Rahul and I'm working with Cisco VPN Backbone team. In this video recording series, we are going to talk about configuring any connect secure mobility client using ASA ASDM VPN wizard. In this video, we are going to follow certain prerequisites which we need to have in order to install the AnyConnect uh, secure mobility client. We need to have the AnyConnect VPN packages installed on the ASA for different type of OS, Windows OS, Macintosh OS or Linux OS. In this video we are going to use ASA with the version 9.4.1 and ASDM version 7.4.1 and AnyConnect version 3.1. When we first log into ASA ASDM, we are on the home screen. We start with the v wizards. We go to VPN wizard, any connect VPN wizard. Click on next. Here, the connection profile name. This is the name of the tunnel group for which the VPN users would be connecting. We call it SSL VPN. VPN access interface is the interface on which the VPN connections would be established. Usually, this is the public facing interface. So we use the outside interface here. Next is the type of connection protocol we are going to use. We are use, going to use here SSL, so I will uncheck IPsec here. Then the device certificate. So we can use the ASA self-signed certificate or we can click on manage and create a new self-signed certificate or enroll this ASA for a third-party CA certificate. You can follow the documentations provided in the video description to get the more details on how to install the self-sign or the identity certificate for the ASA. We click on next. Here we select the client images for the AnyConnect VPN users. So if the image is already available on the ASA flash, you can use browse flash option to get the image or you can use the upload button to upload the image from the local computer. I'm going to do browse flash as I have already copied the image on the ASA flash. So here I'm going to demonstrate the connection with Windows hence I'm using any correct Windows image. Click OK. After the image selection we click next. Next is the type of authentication I'm going to use with the AnyConnect VPN. Here I'm going to use the local ASA authentication or if you have any AAA server configured, you can configure them respectively. I'm going to create a new VPN users who would be connecting to the VPN. I'm going to call this user as user2. Define its password. Click on add. Next step is to define the IP pool which would be assigned for the VPN users once they are connected to the VPN. We click on new. We give name of the pool as VPN pool. We are going to define a range here. So let's say it is going to be 192.168.100.10 going to 192.168.100.20 the subnet mask we will use a slash 24 then we click next next is the dns server what the any connect connection going to use to resolve the domains internally so we define an internal dns server which is 192.168.100.2 win server for the netbias name resolution i am going to use the same server Domain name, this is the connection prefix used for the AnyConnect connections when the name resolution would happen with the DNS servers. So let's say I use a internal domain as cisco.com. We click next. Here we select the traffic to be exempted from NAT. So if there is a dynamic NAT rule for the internal traffic going over the internet using the outside interface IP address, we want this traffic to be exempted from the VPN. We select this checkbox. The local interface from which the internal traffic would be coming in and the local network, if you want to be specific, you can define or you can choose any. We click next. Then the type of deployment. So any connect can be deployed in two ways. One is web launch where users open the web browser, log in and the client will be installed on the PC or pre-deployed where the client is already installed on the AnyConnect user PC. We click next. 
here it is shown a summary for the configuration what we have done we click on finish and here it shows me the command line configuration what it will be pushed to the ASA once this wizard is complete we click on send and the configuration is applied to the ASA and you can see the connection profile which we created through the wizard is added on the ASA ASDM. After this connection we are going to test the AnyConnect client. So I have already a AnyConnect Secure Mobility client installed on this Windows PC. I'm going to launch the AnyConnect client. I'm going to provide the IP address on which the connection to be established that is the outside IP address of the ASA. If that is tied to an FQDN I can use that. So here I'm going to use an IP address of the ASA. We click on connect. Here I'll be prompted with a certificate warning as the certificate I'm using is a self-signed certificate and it is not trusted on the user PC. I would select connect anyway. Here it would show me the drop down for the connection profile which I have created using the wizard. So here I'll use the user which I created for the connection. Click OK. The client is establishing the VPN and activating the virtual adapter. Once the connection is established, we can open the client and check that it is connected. If we want to see the details of the connections, we can go to statistics and we can see the traffic details. We can check the assigned IP address uh, for our connections. So we can see we got assigned IP address 192.168.100.10 which is first from the pool. When we click on route details, here you can see the secure route shows me as all zeros. That means my traffic from this client would be tunneled for all networks going across. That means I am using a full tunnel VPN connection. For example, since all my traffic from the VPN connection is being tunneled, I will not be able to browse internet if my VPN gateway does not allow me to. So in the next example, I am going to demonstrate how we can configure a split tunnel configuration where we can send only certain traffic through the VPN tunnel and rest of the traffic can follow the local network path. So first I'll disconnect from the VPN session. We go to configuration, remote access VPN, network client access, any kind of connection profiles where I see my connection profile created with the VPN wizard. We click on edit. We Go to, go to the default group policy option, click on manage. We see the group policy window, we click on edit. Here, under the advanced configuration, we see split tunneling option, where we define the split tunnel policy. We define the split tunnel policy as tunnel network list below. And in the network list window, we create uh, access list which would define the interesting traffic for my VPN. For example, I'll create a new ACL called as internal LAN. In this access list, I'll define an AC which would be defining the internal segment. Let's say it is 192.168.200 dot zero slash 24 we'll click OK and this would be the interesting traffic only sent over the VPN tunnel we click on OK OK final OK and click on apply here you will see the command line configuration which will be pushed to the ASA in order to configure the split tunneling we click on send the error on the window represents there is no IPv6 pool or the addressing defined here. So we can ignore this and click on close. Once the configuration is applied, we can test our VPN connection again. Click on connect anyway. I'll be authenticating with my local username password. Our 
after the update checks have been completed, the VPN connection will establish. Once this connection is established, I can check the details about the split tunnel configuration. I can go to the route details tab and I can see secure routes being added as 192.168.200. That means only traffic destined to 192.168.200 would be going over this SSL VPN tunnel and all other traffic can follow my local network adapter. Thanks for watching this video and choosing Cisco.